A very warm welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to see what is the difference between capacitor and Cordova. So, at first, capacitor is open source and it is maintained by the ionic team itself. So, that gives a benefit of having everything into the one universe of ionic. So, we have the ionic framework and the bridge to connect it with the mobile applications is all in one place. Now, again, Cordova is also open source. We can use that also very easily, but it is not maintained by the Ionic team. The native APIs of Cordova are maintained mostly by the community itself, but it is a very good tool to integrate the native device plugins and use it for preparing your mobile applications. Now, what is the next difference? Let's check it out. So, the next difference is Capacitor runs the modern web applications natively on iOS, Android, Electron and web also. Now what does it mean? That it is creating applications for iOS, for Android. It is also used for creating the desktop applications. We can also build the PWS using that. All right. Now let's check it out what happens in case of Cordova. So in case of Cordova, it is also used to run modern web applications natively on iOS and Android but not in Electron and Web. So that is only used for creating mobile application natively and it is not used for creating PWAs or the desktop applications. So that is a very big difference between the two. Then the next difference is Capacitor provides first class progressive web applications or the PWS we can see and also the native applications also. We have already learned about it. But Cordova is not providing support for PWS. It is only used to build native applications for Android and iOS. So this is also a very important difference between the two which we have already learned. Now the next thing is that Capacitor allows us to use native APIs like camera, geolocation and many more to work with the PWAs which is very good in fact because if you are running a PWA or you are running a web application on a browser then also you can use this APIs to work with and these are native APIs already. If you are using a PWA it will work with the native camera directly and also the geolocation. So, this is a very cool feature of Capacitor and it is very trendy. Because of this, I think that Capacitor is trending day by day and it is used by lots of people. The community is growing bigger and bigger of Capacitor. So this is the major benefit according to me for Capacitor. The next thing for Cordova, well, we have already seen that Cordova does not support PWA and it is not providing any APIs for the PWAs. And what's next? Well, in Capacitor, we can even use the Cordova plugins in that. How we can do that? Because it provides us the backward compatibility with the Cordova plugins, which is another benefit of Capacitor that we can use a whole lot of stuff. Because in Capacitor, we do not have lot many plugins. We can use the official plugins that is given us by the Ionic team and also we can use the community plugin of capacitor along with that if you still need some other plugins say like for calling somebody you have to use the plugin of cordova so for that we will be using that and in fact i have shown it in the course how this can be done but that is not the case in our cordova it is using only its own apis native apis for building the applications so this is the whole difference between the two and there is one more thing I want to tell you that Capacitor is also called the spiritual successor of Apache Cordova. Now after looking at the overview, well I think it's clear what is Cordova and what is Capacitor. So according to me, Capacitor is growing day by day and it has a lot of features and the speciality is that it is maintained by the Ionic team. So you will get all the exposure out there, lot many functionalities are there which you can use it up. So this is the whole difference about it. I hope you understood the difference between the two. So this is just a glimpse of our complete course on Ionic from beginner to advanced level and I'll just explain you now how to avail this course. So it is available on Udemy. There is a special limited period offer going on 
for few days in which you will get around 95 to 97 percent off which brings the course price down to 9.99 dollars or in indian rupees it is it will be around 360 rupees the price may vary after few days so do enroll in this course as soon as possible and i'm eagerly waiting to see you in this particular course and if you have any queries regarding this i'm always there to help so you can reach me out whenever you like to so thank you very much